Hey guys, it's Hetty and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I'm doing the next Art Addicts Alliance piece and for this month's theme it was fairy tales. So I decided I was going to do more like a Japanese folklore fairy tale one and it's the boy who drew cats. Um, I didn't really want to do like a really typical fairy tale like Snow White or something like that. Um, I know I wanted to try and do something a bit different and originally I was going to look at grim fairy tales but none of them really sparked my interest or my like none of them inspired me so I just thought instead I'd go for this one um, basically it's a boy who gets sent away by his parents because he's not focusing on the work that they want him to do and he goes to be trained to be a priest and all he can do in his spare time is draw cats he draws on everything so like the screens and all that sort of stuff in a temple walls and it gets to a point where the priest has to then send him away because he's just not focusing on his studies he's just drawing cats constantly and then he goes on a journey to a different temple and then there's he gets warned by the priest when he leaves to stay in a small place like avoid big places so because he hears noises in this temple that he's found it's abandoned but he didn't know that and he just hides in a cupboard to sleep for the night after drawing cats on the screens already um but there was rumors that there was demons in that temple and the cats came to life in the night and killed the demons so he ended up realising he has this new power to kill demons with his drawings of cats. So yeah. <laughs> um, I really wanted to try and portray the sort of the fashion garments of that time that the story would have been wrote around or based around. So I was going for like the traditional clothing and I was going to do like the priest training hat thing which you saw in the sketching at the start but I really didn't like how it went at all it just didn't look right and I knew I wanted to go with the idea of like back in those days they probably used ink and brushes instead of like well we use pencils and everything now so I and I have a Chinese ink set I know it's not Japanese but I really wanted to use that as a chance to I haven't used it yet so I wanted to try and use it for this piece and it worked out really well. I actually sketched all of these elements to this piece separately and just scanned them in and put them together on Photoshop so that's why you kind of see a jump from separate sketches of different cats and the boy and stuff like that to this sort of finished sketch that I'm just tracing onto watercolour paper now. and. This I'm actually drawing this onto my hot press watercolour paper and considering I normally hate that paper, it, this works really really well with that paper. But yeah, the, just the sound of the ink like brushing it, like going against the stone is kind of nice. Anyway, um, but yeah basically this ink set you have to put some water down because it comes with the brushes, the an ink stick and like a stone and then like a little water pot and the stamping stuff but I just left the stamping part and as far as I know for a fact I'm not holding the brushes properly I'm probably not even rubbing the ink properly on the stone or whatever I'm just doing what I think is right and it worked for me so please don't judge me if it's not the correct way to do it but it did the job for me but you just put some water down on the stone well this is what I did and you just rub the in ink stick on and ink starts to come it takes a while to get black it's that's why I had the test piece of paper because a lot of it came out grey and on some of the lines I did have to go over them again because th I just wanted them as black as I could get them um, my original intention was to just do this piece all in the black and white like just using the inks well the ink and water and that's it and I was going to use just the brushes in the set but I couldn't get the thin line that I wanted so I did use one of my paint brushes but it works out fine some of the brushes that come in the set they feel really cheap and crappy which is a pretty cheap set I think you can get it on Amazon pretty cheap 
Um, I mean, I'll have a look and I'll leave a link to in the description for you to get one of your own if you want. But they work well for large brush strokes and very. You have to be very loose with your movements, which because I've been drawing with a brush pen for a while now, they made it a lot easier to do. But it's still you can't get very precise lines it's more free which was really nice for the cat drawings but when it came to doing the boy it just didn't look very good um, but I really like how it turned out I decided after I'd finished with the grey ink that I wanted to add a little pop of colour so I got my watercolours out and just added a bit of red but yeah um, anyway, the art raffle for Dory Stories is still going, so I will leave a link to that in the description and the usual links for next month's theme, that will be there as well, and again, don't forget to go and check out our Facebook page, which I feel like I say this in every video, which I probably will say it in every video, but oh well. Um, but yeah, I hope you like how the piece turned out, I'm actually really happy with it, and I guess I will see you in the next video. Bye!